the 45-day legislative session kicks off tomorrow and lawmakers have a lot to do in very little time. Now, if you have an issue you feel strongly about, you may be wondering how to get in touch and with your lawmaker and have your voice heard and whether the lawmakers are really listening to you at all. Fox 13's Ben Winslow has this Capitol Hill primer. In the aftermath of the highly contentious redistricting process, some may feel a little like the legislature isn't listening. I think cynicism is real. I feel it in my communications with people. Katie Wright is the head of Better Boundaries, which successfully passed the ballot initiative for independent redistricting. She'll be back this year working on voting legislation. She says she can't give up. We're all Americans and our duty is to participate in democracy. It doesn't work unless we show up, we vote, we um, give public comment, we write emails. Headed into another legislative session, lawmakers say your input is needed. Bills like mine, if it gets that um, push from the public, can pass. Here's some tips advocates and lawmakers shared with us. I recommend people start with their representatives and starting a relationship. First off, know who represents you. Sign up for their newsletters, visit their town halls, and reach out and identify yourself as a constituent. Let's have a good discussion. The legislature is continuing to offer an online component of committee hearings. It may save you a long drive if you don't live close to Salt Lake City. You can sign up to give public comment on a bill, but this year some committee chairs may ask you to turn that camera on so they can see you. The vetting and the qu answering questions and then, then in a respectful, civil manner, get to the bottom and, and make sure we have good information. Advocates and lawmakers say don't be afraid to reach out with emails, calls, or texts. More often than not, you'll reach the lawmaker themselves. They say share your feelings on how a particular piece of legislation directly impacts you, but skip the forum emails and don't be a jerk. Also find an organization with areas you're interested. There's a lot of organizations out there, whether it's the Sierra Club or the Eagle Forum. Ray Duckworth of Black Lives Matter says she wants people to stay involved. It's super hard because a lot of times the legislation doesn't listen to us. Like our mayor doesn't listen to us. Um, sometimes our governor, he doesn't listen to us, you know? So I, I understand that it's super frustrating, um, but I, I love I love that people get frustrated because that means they're just passionate, right? She says engage anyway. If I can steer them into being passionate and still participating, even if they're not up there at the legislation, but they're willing to talk about, you know, these bills and call an email, like that's still protesting within itself. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.